as we get prepared for this NJCAA matchup between these Route 24 rivals, the Bristol Community College Bayhawks and Massasoit Community College. Bristol Community College is, is led by their head coach for in his first year, Jason Tavanari, assistant coach Devin McKay. In her first year, captains are Cassidy Raposo and Michaela Pinkson. Only less than 30 miles separates the two campuses in this battle of Route 24. NJCAA Region 21. We're gonna get ready to get this one kicked off and we'll be right back after this. All right, another jolly good day here from the old soccer yard here at Britland Park here in the good old Mill City of Fall River, Massachusetts. And here we are in the possession of Bristol Community College, Bristol in the white. And in the dark green on the Massasoit Community College Lady Warriors. There's a big boot there. Race to the corner and out of bounds. The Warriors will get a throw in near the corner. in their own territory. And the Warriors will kick it out of bounds. Number 14 coming down the left side. Kicks it in front of the goal. Nice save there. Good job to kick it out there. Raposo bringing it up. Lost it. We're just getting underway here on FR Media. as that ball goes out of bounds. It's a bright, sunny day. Hope you're all having a grand old week. Nice header there. Oh, loose ball. From the net, can the goalie come on and get it? Oh, nice diving. Nice diving stop there by the Massasoit goalie. She took a chance there. That ball is going to go out of bounds. And Bristol with a throw in. There's a kick right at the goal. Wide of the mark, but a great job there to even get that one near the goal. Goal kick here from the Warriors. Not a good kick there. Ooh, and number seven just tripped. Number 28 there. Number 17, Alyssa Totora. Kick here. Ooh, she, that was a missile going through 
a handful of warrior defenders, but it goes out of bounds. We have another goal kick coming up here. It's a beautiful day. It doesn't get any better than this. Mid-September. Nice header. Nice header there by Cassidy. Boot out to midfield and boot it right back. Gonna go towards the Bristol goalie. The goalkeeper for the fall for your Bristol Bayhawks is Marquina Al Marquina Alves. Marquina. Proposal gets it across midfield, gets it blocked by the Warrior Defender. Back into Bristol territory. Back across midfield the other way. That ball's off Bristol back into the possession of Massasoya. Kick towards the front of the goal. Good job to get it out of there. That's going to sail back towards. The goalie is going to be a goal kick. Bristol going to kick this one. Else to boot that. Nice little header there to get it back towards the goal. Good defense there by 18. And that ball is going to go out of bounds. Both teams with some opportunities. To, with some kicks towards the goal, but not quite on the goal. Get a boot. Pinkston couldn't control it. That ball kicked backwards. They'll kick the ball backwards. Ball near midfield. Cassidy Raposo, she can't find it. 15 uses her chest. Good body, good ball control. Ooh. Kicking the ball right now is number 24. Ashley Fay with a big boot there. Number 28, number, number 28 controls it, loses it. Pozo, good job to get it back into Massasoit territory. Come on, 
I'm not sure what the call was there. Might have been an offsides. Both teams kind of a little sluggish here at the beginning. Pinkston. The Bristol captain loses it. Both teams trying to find their way here. As we come up on the 10 minute mark, 10 minutes have been played almost. Oh, just couldn't quite get it out there. Hopefully it's not trouble for BCC. That ball ends up in the hands of the goalkeeper, Marquina Elves. Nice boot, but that might go out of bounds. And it will, and it's gonna be warrior, a warrior throw in here from just below the midline. How are all of you here today? I am well, this is great. It's been a great week of soccer, the Bristol men on Tuesday. Got into a tie with Monroe. Monroe College out of the Bronx. It was a thrill of a day, a double overtime battle, but very highly contested, very intense game on Tuesday here at the old soccer yard. The men's team was trying to advance to three and one, but ended up in a tie. And they are now two, one and one with the game this weekend. Throw in by the Warriors. Good defense there by number 24. Way to get in front of it, Ashley Fay. Warriors go back with it. We might have something here. But now we have a whistle. Bayhawks trying to get something done offensively. Not much going on for them. This game, so far the Warriors have had a lot of possessions, a lot of chances. They lived inside the Bristol territory. And we have a kick here. Again, if you just join us, Massasoit in the dark green. And the Bayhawks with the green numbering and the white jerseys and the white shorts. Coming down the right sideline, there's a kick into the box and a kick back out. Ball bounces back into a Massasoit territory, trying to trek it down and get it out of harm's way. Massasoit will do that. Ball across midfield and booted by Faye. Number seven, trying to get that ball in. Errant pass there. That ball's gonna be off the Bayhawks. Here goes Massasoya. It's getting a little hot. Good throw in. Juliana, oh, what a good job there by number 19. And number four gets it towards the goal, and the goalie will come out, Elves. 
She'll look to boot this one here. Number 10. Throw in right beside me around midfield, number 18. Joanne McChrystal. Those two players are colliding. Another ball out of bounds. And right now we have a substitution. Number 18, Juliana. Mary Crystal will go out. And coming in is number 22, Caitlin Lopes. Midfield out of North Dartmouth. She's a freshman. towards the goal to her left side. Good job cutting her off. The Bristol defender. Good defense by Alexander Tavares. Here's a throw in. Off the chest. And it looks like we're gonna have a kick here, rather close proximity. We'll see what kind of defense is set up here. What kind of a look. Both teams, I mean, Bristol's gonna match up man to man. And that ball's right on the goal, but not enough steam on it. Elves hands it, handles it pretty routinely. I am your commentator. I am your host, your hostess with the mostest, David Cardoza. We have about nearly 27 minutes here to play here in the first half on the sweet lawn here at the old soccer yard. 0-0 zero, zero, the score. Both teams have had a lot of soft opportunities. No real scoring chances yet. Hopefully we'll see one or two. Hopefully it doesn't end in a tie. Had enough ties for the week. A ball around midfield. Nice header there. Ooh, I thought they were going to collide. And we have a whistle here at midfield. And Massasoit going to end up with another kick here around the midline. Seems like they've had a lot of those lately. There's a boot right into the center. Boy, does she know how to use her head. Literally, number 24. That one kicked back, that can be dangerous. And that ball's gonna go out of bounds. It's gonna be warrior ball.
right. That ball going down the sideline. Massasoit going to win the race. That ball's kicked out of bounds. All right, Raposo, oh, she had that blocked. Had an opportunity right there in front of the net, but had it blocked by the Massasoit defender. Now this ball dribbling back out to midfield and kicked out of bounds. Okay. Dangerous ball here. Raposo. Ball thrown in by number six, Tavares. Tavares couldn't control it, trying to get it back. Gets it to her captain, kicks it back. Faye with a big boot, that's what you want to say. Headed. Oh, you're going to go after that. And it's going to. Tavares on the right corner, on the right side. Gets it towards a goal, and the Massasoit goalkeeper will come out and retrieve it. Still nil-nil. We've played nearly 23 minutes here in this one. Both teams jockeying for position. And the Warriors will lose their ball. I believe we're going to have a Bristol throw in.
that goal, that ball goes back to the Bristol goalie. Ooh, that boot, kind of short. Headed by the Massasoit player. Somehow keeps it in bounds. Nifty play there. Oh, that ball's booted. Massasoit trying to handle it. Tavares kicks it out. Good job there. A swing and a miss. Oh, 15 has it. McKay's a good defender, and she causes that one to go out of bounds. Good job, to, good job, Ashley, to get there. Less than 20 minutes here to play in the first half on a beautiful, lovely, sunny day. Okay, she's got one of the bigger boots on the team. But she missed. Didn't get a good one on that one. Oh, nice save there. Ooh. Massasoya loses that one. Coming up on 18 minutes to play. Nil, nil. I'm a six to throw it in to Vives. I'm a 14 racing down the sideline. Showing great speed. Nice crossover. There's a kick and it's wide. But she, that, she did have a shot at that. Probably would have scored. She probably would have scored on that one if she kept it on the ground. Tried to elevate it. Probably didn't need to. Massasoya, number 19. Somehow that ball skippers through right here. All right, the goalkeeper Alves. That ball high in the air. Ooh. I don't know if you can let that one drop. That ball told to go. Ooh. That was the kick it. So we're gonna get a we're gonna get a kick here just below midfield the circle. Number eleven has one of her players there, and it's gonna be kicked out of bounds. It's gonna be Bristol Bristol possession. Oh. 
Nice header. Bristol playing some good defense, but they just can't get anything generated offensively. They can't find anything offensively, and there's no continuity with their passing. Fourteen forty left to play here in the first half of action. And very similar to the men's game on Tuesday, this game right here has very had very little offensive output opportunities. Maybe just a few on each side. Massasoit has, has had the majority. Really controlled the game a lot in this in their own end. Here's the captain, Raposo, loses it to number 14. And there goes number 19 with some daylight. But Alves kicks it away. Right here. If you hear me say, right here. Oh, well, there you go. I'm chasing balls down. I'm double dipping. All right, and Owls will come out. I won't classify that as a save. There's a boot, it's high, it's towards midfield. Where's the aggression, Pinkston. Keeping in bounds for Master Soy at number 18 with a nifty play. Oh, wow. How did she get through there? And then she's tripped up. All right, number 14. Here from the left sideline. Kind of kicked that one into the box. Knocked out, knocked away. I believe that was number 10, Mackenzie Kennedy. It's like watching a ping pong ball. Balls just being kicked back and forth one way to the next. There you go, kick that way, kick that way. That ball's going to get kicked out of bounds. And again, Massasoit will regain possession. They've had a lot of possessions. Spent a lot of time with the ball here on this side of the Bristol field. There it is. Massasoit, good job getting back to the ball. We have a substitution for the Warriors. A lot of time has been played here in the first half. Coming up on 10 minutes to play.
Bristol really hasn't had any good looks. Boat there. Ashley McKay with a big boat. She would like a leg on her. Come on, you got to get after that ball. You have it right there. Somehow find the Massasoit goaltender who's going to. Boot this one out of here. We've seen some nifty skill from both teams. Just not a lot, not a lot of scoring. Oh, <laughs> not any scoring actually. Oh, she has a defender right there. There's a boot. And it's going to go into the side of the net. But that definitely was a scoring chance. And we have a substitution here on the field. Going out of the game is Alexandra Tavares. And I believe Michaela Pinkston, captain from West Wareham, my neck of the woods, is in the game. That's going to be a corner kick. for this corner kick here. Bristol has the right woman to kick it out of there. Mc Ashley Fay with a big boot towards the net. Can't get it there quite. Well, that was a tremendous, tremendous kick out of the corner. They had the setup, they had the play that they wanted. Just could not connect on that one, but a hell of a heck of a boot there by Miss Ashley Faye, number 24. There's a midfielder out of Westport, Mass, a freshman this year. Nobody could get ahead on it. Being swarmed by warrior defenders. Here's Ashley Raposo. Sticks with it. Shoots from the top. Had that one deflected just a little bit. Boy, Cassidy Raposo had a shot there. She had it initially deflected. Second chance. Got it towards the goal, but just not, couldn't, couldn't get enough on it. Ooh, that ball booted all the way down. Luckily, there's a bunch of Bayhawks there. Ooh, gotta watch for the collision there. Raposo chasing it down, kicks it across midfield. 
Coming up on five minutes to play here in the first half. Both teams need to wake up and smell the coffee or maybe a cup of tea. Been a sluggish game, not a lot of offense. Seen good defense though, seen skill, seen heart, seen intensity. But we need to see more intensity. So definitely from the Bristol side. On offense, they look a little sluggish. Look to wake up a little bit ago. With a couple more offensive chances, but up until then, not a lot going on on offense for your Bayhawks. Who have a couple wins here on the young season, coached by their first year coach, Jason Tassinari. Jason Tassinari went to Bridgewater State, graduated in 1995. Like I say, he's assisted by Devin McKay. And her first year as well, Devin McKay went to Southern Maine. 2015 graduate. Trying to race, trying to get back there. Reed Joseph couldn't track it down. Bristol will keep it here. Got to be more aggressive. Massasoya seems to be the aggressor. That ball. Also hands it, handles it on midfield, gets it up there. Got to track it down, number 28. Just your captain, Cassidy Raposo, did a good job there, but just let her teammate just a little bit too much on that one. We have a goal kick coming up. Goal kick coming up for the Warriors. Oh, nice boot there by number 20. Free Borges. Throw in by Borges, nice throw. Hits her teammate right in the chest, get to turn around and go the other way. One minute to play, nil nil. Oh, good job by, good job by Pinkston. Too bad she didn't have any of her teammates there in front. Try to tap it in. Well, number four. Ooh, goodness gracious. Good job there, Raposo. 25 seconds to play, time's a ticking. There's a kick. Just from too far away, number 17 with a shot on goal. This is a Totora from Middleborough. A forward, fresh, 
freshman forward. Time is going to tick away here as that ball trickles down the right sideline. And one last throw in. Maybe she won't throw it in. And that is the half, ladies and gentlemen. On a jolly day here at Britland Park, the first half is in the bag, is in the books. No score, 0-0. Zero, zero. And we're going to sign off here just for a little bit. It is halftime here. We're going to take a break. Don't you go away. Go get yourself a cup of tea. Go get some crumpets. We'll be right back at the old soccer yard here in Fall River. Nil-nil, the score, Massasoya and Bristol Community College both deadlocked at 0-0. Zero, zero. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. All right, welcome back on this grand old jolly day here at the old soccer yard here at Britland Park, here in good old Fall River, Massachusetts, the old Mill City. About 50 miles south of Boston, city of champions. These two Route, 20, Route 24 rivals, the Massasoit Community College Warriors, who reside out of Brockton, Massachusetts. The ball's in their possession. Bristol Community College, the Bayhawks. Both teams here, nil-nil. Not a much, not a lot of action in the first half, but we're ready to get some fantastic action for you. Both teams were a little bit on the unlucky side with a few shots on goal that just went away. But it's the second half and we're underway. Oh, a little miscommunication there. There's a kick at the goal, ooh. Boy, the Massasoit goaltender. That ball booted. Oh, nice kick there. Pozo kicks it down. You got to chase after it. Oh, goodness gracious. Boy, that Massasoit goaltender, she's getting away with a few. She's been a little bit cavalier over there. If I'm Bristol, you need to get down there, rush that net. Number 20, Bree Board just to throw that one in. Throws it towards midfield. Come on, come on, let's go, Green. There you go. You got it. Ball kicked down the left sideline. Danita Gomes.
Here's Danita Gomes. Gets it back. And I think Massasoya is going to get a kick here at the top. Bristol building a wall here, building a defensive wall. Trying to get it up and over. That will sail right into the goalkeeper's hands. Marquina Elves, the sophomore of the save. Kick here coming up number 11, Caitlin Bendis. Here's Pinkston. Gomes kicks it to mid. Kicks it to the center of the field. Good defense there by Faye. Good job to block it. Oh, you got to hustle after that. All right, we're already seven minutes into this second half. Both teams fighting, giving it all they got. Zero, zero. I give credit to Bristol Community College. The ladies have come out here with a little bit more intensity here in the second half. Ball just bouncing around over there in the corner. I think Massasoit is doing a little bit better job of communication. Communication is key. On either side of the ball, Massasoit talking to each other. There's that corner kick, headed out by a Massasoit defender. Cassie Raposo going after it. Borges. Oh, good job by Sliver 16. Trying to split a couple defenders, but then she's swarmed by a bunch of warriors. Pinkston. Looking for someone to set up. Kick back up to midfield. That was a nice boot there by number 28. Eleni, Eleni Barrows. And it looks like we're gonna have another corner kick here that's gonna go off the Warriors. And I believe it is going to be a corner kick. Key play here, coming up. You couldn't have a better day for soccer, could you? Look at that blue sky. Nice header there by Pinkston. Bristol needs to get that ball, try to get the ball in the center of that box. Yeah. 
Ball back to midfield. Oh, good job there. Good defensive play there by number 28. Alani Barrels. Good job. Thank you, man. Ooh. On the right side, chasing it down. Ooh. Keep coming up here by Faye. Ball trickling around near midfield. You can definitely tell the intensity of this game is picked up here. Gomes with the toss in. Pinkston kicks it towards midfield. Massa, Bristol trying to catch Massa Sawyer sleeping. They're going to have an opportunity here. They kick. He's going to score! It is a goal. Alani Barrows. I knew they were going to catch that goalie napping. Ball wasn't tremendously hit by Barrows, but it was nifty placed. Alani Barrows, a freshman, with the first goal here today. And it is huge. All right, how about that? Our first goal of the day. And there's Barrels back there in the picture. Corner kick and another scoring opportunity for Bristol. All right. That nice leg coming up here. A header. So we're going to stick the head in there. And it's going to go in. It's a score. Wow, and a game that was just nilly-nilly is now two nilly. You can see trouble looming on that kick, a beautiful lofted ball there by Ashley Fay. Not actually sure who got a piece of that, who's 
who got the head on that one? I'm gonna find out here shortly. You know who scored? That booted ball, that ball booted back the other way. There's a collision. I told you that Massasoit goaltender is playing with fire. And she's already got burned here a couple times. She's either been the Massasoit goaltender. Still not yet certain who scored that second goal, but like I said, it was set up beautifully on the corner kick by Ashley Fay. And now Bristol, they've dominated here in the second half. Obviously, if you look at the scoreboard, and we're coming up on 30 minutes to play here in regulation time. Boy, yeah, they turned on the Jets. I give credit to Jason Tassinari, Coach Taz, rallying his troops and getting them to come out here in the second half. Guns are blazing. Two nil. <laughs> and again now, this is gonna be from the right corner. Number 24 looking to blast away. Trying to get one here in the box. Let's we'll see what kind of play they set up. Massasoya matching up man, man to man. Woman to woman. There's a boot, not quite as nice. There's a header. Good job by number eight, Danita Gomes, to get that one out of harm's way. Oh, what a boot there by 28. Alani Gomes, look at that one. I tell you that Massasoit goaltender, he's misjudging some balls. Right it. Got you. Picked up. Number 16 looking to throw in here. Bree. That ball trickles through. We're gonna have a toss in here. Bree Jones towards the right corner. Gets it to her captain, Pinkston. Again, Bristol has definitely picked up the pace here in the second half. Two nil. Bristol. Joseph. And that ball knocked away in the corner. And we're gonna have a corner kick here. All right. We're gonna get Strong artillery. Ashley K does a fine job with these corner kicks. Let's see if she can get some air underneath. She's gonna put it up. It's a nice ball. 
No one there. No one there to attack it. Definitely a nice ball there, though. And that ball's going to scamper out of bounds on the other side. Been all Bristol in the second half. Definitely seen a personality change from the first half. It looked a little sluggish. This half, not so sluggish. All right, Ashley. Ashley Faye, the freshman, look at the bomb away here. Here it is, the kick. Could be a header. Oh! They had what they wanted. Number 10 went up there for it. Mackenzie Kennedy just over the top of the crossbar. And we have a goal kick here coming up from number 11, Giselle Diglaramo. And Bristol, like I said, they just seem to be more alive. They get into a lot of loose balls. They've already capitalized on some corner kicks. Looks a lot better. I know Coach Taz must be jolly as heck. Coach Taz done a fine job here on the young season. Camp started just after mid-August, and these girls have been, these young women have been working hard, and they've been getting after it ever since. And they have a lot to show for it. A few victories here in the first handful of games. Things are looking rather bright for Bristol women's soccer, I'll tell you that. 16, Bree. Gets knocked to the ground, but bounces right back up. That's what you like to see. And again, this whole second half has been right down here in Massasoit territory. Bristol's own the Warriors here in the second half. In the first 21 minutes. Warriors will build a wall. Number seven, sir. Number seven, They'll build a wall right outside. Just inside the, the white line, the box there. Oh, there's like, oh. <laughs> little deception there. I'm not sure who that is off there. We might be looking at another corner kick. All right. We're ready to go bombs away here. <laughs> All kicked up. It's a kick. Get it blocked. A nice save there by the goalie, Michelle Gomes. It's a kick towards, kick towards midfield. Ashley Raposo, trying to get after it. Can she keep it in play? That ball's gonna trickle out of bounds in the corner there.
toss in by the Warriors. Oh, wow. Jeez. We had a warrior player there just running rampant. Here's a kick from the circle. Nice defense there by Eliani. And Raposo at midfield. Has Bree Joseph. She's not going to be able to track it down. Ooh. I think number 19 just blocked that ball with their face. I'm trying to get myself out of the way here. <laughs> Three Borges with a toss in from midfield. I got three jobs so to commentate. <laughs> Throw the balls in and try not to get hit. <laughs> try to stay out of the way. But with my big self. Kind of tough to do. Go almost trying to track that down. Bounce. Yep. Board is a throw in. You again? I'm going here, I'm going here. Board is another throw in. That ball kicked out of bounds by Matt Sawyer. We get another corner kick coming up. I like these. <laughs> I love these corner kicks. No it's gonna be a throw in actually. Nice high arcing ball. That ball's in the box. Bristol trying to keep it there. Oh, good job there. Good job there by number 10. I don't know how she got that towards the net in that crowd. Good save by the goalie, Gomes. Take it away. Take it away by you now who, the captain. Gets it ahead. Trying to stay, trying to stick with it. Kennedy. Going to be knocked out of bounds and knocked away by Caitlin Bendis from the Warriors. And that is going to be a corner kick here, I believe. Getting ready for this blast. Ball being pushed over midfield. Lofted down. Free Borges with it. We've seen so many almost near collisions. Oh, 
We're coming up on 60 minutes to play here. Pozo. Gomes has it. The score right now is 2-0 for the Bayhawks in control. Just guess that went to midfield. Oh goodness, Kennedy. She's gonna have it. She scores. Mackenzie Kennedy. I didn't know. Okay. So it is in my estimation now that one of the goals in the first half was actually called off sides. But well, that goal right there negates it. Mackenzie Kennedy gets on the board. It seemed like she was destined to do it, and she did it. She had a couple of near misses. But either way, it's 2 0 now. Three balls have found the net. Bristol has picked up the picked up the intensity, picked up their play for sure. And we have 14 minutes to play. Oh, good job there by Faye to get it away. Coming after it. Gotta get that loose ball. And we have a Massasoya player down. And she'll get back up. She's tough as nails. Number 12. Number 12, Anastasia Mont Monte. A freshman. She'll get up and shake it off. And we have played nearly 32 minutes. Pinkston has that go, ball go over her head. Swing and a miss there. Oh, that nice boot by Borges. Kennedy in the open field. Not Kennedy, Bree Joseph. There's Kennedy, looking for a second goal in the day. Just couldn't get enough on it. That was a great pass. We have a goal kick here coming. Number 11, looking to boot it out. Caitlin Bindis. Caitlin Bendis, the kick. Oh, 
Get it in front, Mackenzie. Kennedy trying to stick with it. She regains possession. Tries to kick it. Oh. That ball's lofted. Oh my goodness, what if she she should have Did she score? I believe she did. And that is a go. I told you all day I've seen it coming. Michelle Gomes, the goalie for Massasoya. She's been too way too cavalier back there. That's a ball that she should have caught. Instead, she tried to bat it away like a volleyball player. This isn't volleyball. It's soccer. I'm not sure if they're going to count that. That ball did end up in the net. And they are going to give it. And it's 3 0. Gomes in the open field. On the right side, kicks it dead center. Massasoya set up nicely. Oh, nice job there by Elves to come out. Could have been a quite the collision there, but she came out quite brave. Showed quite bravery there. Elves with a high kick. That ball goes off a Bristol player. And they're going to lose that ball out of, no, not quite. Bristol keeps it in bounds, and it's kicked out of bounds. And it's going to be back into the possession of the Warriors. Again, Massasoit Community College in Bristol. Separated by about 25 miles on Route 24, these Route 24 arrivals. Battled it out today. There's been many battles between these two fine establishments in many different sports. Oh, nice nifty footwork there by Kennedy. Gets it out to Bree. Bree trying to get some green in front of her. She does. She might have a leg up there. Joseph just couldn't get enough leg. Had it partially blocked. Gomes scrambles ahead, gets it out near midfield. You can hear Coach Tabs barking out instructions there. It's getting intense. Both teams coming alive here as the time continues to tick away and tick away. Gomes, not Gomes. There it is right there. Boy, Bristol playing hellacious defense. And that ball's going to Sail out of bounds past the goal. We're gonna have a goal kick coming up here. We have two substitutions. Let's see who they are. A ball going overhead. Controlled by Bree Joseph on the right sideline. All right, you get a turn around there. Midfield. There's Cassidy Raposo. She has a lot of green in front of her. Raposo. Look at the score. And she does. It's a goal. She shoots it. She scores. Is the captain been waiting for that all day? The captain K 
Pass it to Raposo with the sc score. Out running, out willing the Massasoit defender. Had a lot of green in front of her. Got that ball on the ground. And the Massasoit goalie just, just couldn't handle it. And it's 4-0. 8.41 to play in real time in this contest. What we talked about all day. Here we go. Can we have another one? I don't think Bristol is done quite yet. Massasoit is tired. It's a game of endurance. It's a game of wills. It's definitely a game of tremendous focus, perseverance, heart, determination. And Bristol, despite their poor offensive output in the first half, as far as their woes in the first half, we talk about picking up the pace. Ooh. It seems to me like there's been a lot more space. A lot more space to operate. Bristol get into those 50-50 balls now. Bristol out running. There it is. Might have another opportunity here. Ball's booted away. Another kick on goal. Gomes will pick it up. Ooh, bad kick there. Oh, nice boot there by Faye. Kicks it back the other way. And it'll go out of bounds. Massasoit with a throw in, deep in their own end. Very impressed with the turnaround. This game was nil-nil, believe it. Believe it or not, it was 0-0. And all of a sudden, coming out the gates. Coming out the gates like a horse out of the barn who's been stuck in there for days. Or should I say a bull, like a raging bull. They've come out here and dominated the second half. We get a full crowd coming in on hand here at Britland Park. We get some spectators. That's, we're coming up on five minutes to play here in the game, in the match. I want to thank all of you who have joined this contest here and watched Bristol Community College Athletics. The soccer match brought to you by all of our friends here at FRC Media, your Bayhawks Broadcasting Network. That ball sails out of bounds. Again, it's yours truly. David Cardoza on the call. There he is in attendance. 
the man at 100 and how many wins, coach? <laughs> Michelle? Coach Rob Dale Lou in the house. He knows something about winning. 177 wins in his tenure here at Bristol Community College. All we do is win, baby. All we do is win. These precious seconds just winding up the clock. We have 3.22 to play here. We have a goal kick coming up here from number 11, Giselle Digiolamo. Tough to say that name. That boot. I'm back. Who wants it? Oh. I'll tell you what, I think it's Stephanie Oliveira. She's going to toss this one in right over the Massasoit defender. Ooh. I think she, I think number 21 there might have got, she might have got some contact there in the mouth there. Kaylin Medes, a freshman. Might have collided there with number 29. Stephanie Oliveira. Number 29, Stephanie Oliveira. It's a basketball player, too. Looks like we're going to have a substitution here. Number 19 checking in, Oksana Sullivan, the freshman. You want to talk about a tale of two halves. As I was saying, you want to talk about a tail of two halves? I got you. <laughs> Oliveira to get this one in to Tavares. Going up ahead. What's up, big man? <laughs> Oliveira with a toss in there. Nice toss in by Oliveira. Thank you, sir. <laughs> nice boot. All right. Doesn't time fly by? Didn't even realize what time it was. <laughs> it's winning time as Bristol will congratulate their goalie who pitches a shutout here today. And how about that? Bristol 
tied with the opposing team, 0-0 tied with Massasoya. Seemed very, very sluggish on the outstart. Massasoya seemed to control that first half, engaging in a lot of time of possession in the uh, territory of the Bayhawks. They seem to be the aggressor. But you know what? In the end, but in the end, slow and steady wins the race. It's not how you start. It's, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And the Bristol women here today with a four nothing, with a four nil win here today against the Massasoit Community College Warriors in this battle of Route 24 rivals. And that is it for David Cardoza.